Hey guys, welcome to the extended version of our opinion on action hero Biju. The first thing I would like to say about this movie is Nevin Pauly. Uh, I was very skeptical before going to the movie as how he's going to pull it off because uh, being a cop, apart from the you know star playing the role, it takes a lot from the audience to actually accept it. And I feel he's really pulled it off very convincingly, which is very important uh, for this whole movie to take off. Uh, he looks dashing. His characterization was just. I like the fact that they didn't give him a mainstream super cop, you know, like an IAS, IPS, or a raw officer. Uh, they've kept him very simple, which which someone could relate to. And uh, it could be because you know he's he's taking up this kind of a role for the first time, right? So, uh, which is nice. So that is something that I like about this movie. And what I like is that the screenplay and the story is not again the typical cop story where you have a mainstream villain and a mainstream uh, hero. And then you have family sentiments, you have the hero being pulled down, him, him being thrashed and thrown out of power for some time and then he bounces back and takes revenge. All that sort of uh, typical Indian cinema cop type is, you know, cop type story is not here. So which is good, it's very fresh, the template is new, totally new. So here what they did was they were dealing with small small cases that the police, you know, uh, handles from day to day. Actually speaking, thinking about it, uh, each of this scene could have been an introduction scene to a cop movie. So that is what I liked about it. It kept, you know, going on again and it was very new. Every case was a capsule and Niven Pauly is portrayed as a badass cop. The background score was definitely a big plus in certain areas where uh, the mood, you know, kind of tensifies up. Songs did not appeal to me so much. So what could have been better about this movie is the fact that uh, in the first half, it looks a lot very monotonous where you have, uh, you know, the same kind of message being conveyed and again, again and again. So like I said, although it was fresh in a way, but then there are two ways to it. Either the director did not con convey it properly or probably the audience were, weren't very ready with this sort of a screenplay. So there are two aspects to it. I don't know which uh, uh, actually took over. What was very obvious was, uh, you know, the subtitles. It was bleached here and there uh, for someone like me who's not very familiar with the language. Um, I couldn't read words so most of my understanding went on judgments and whatever I know of the language. So I think that's something that you should work on because Malayalam movies are doing really good and people, you have a lot of fans, you know, who do not know the language. So that being uh, said, it is very important that we focus on certain things like, because when a non-Malayalam speaking audience watches the movie or any any other language, uh, if, if you're not familiar with the language, subtitles is the first thing that we see, even though that's the last thing that the makers would put into the movie, right? But I think that's as important as the rest of the movie is. So that being said, um, I think action hero Biju was a wonderful entertainer. Uh, yes, Niven Pauly still scores uh, high marks as a cop, although he's very well known for being a lover boy and so on. So if you think your opinion and our opinions resonate, uh, please give us a like and subscribe to United We Watch. So until we meet again, this is Uday Senin from United We Watch.